Hey guys, checking in. Thought I'd show you a little project that I'm doing right now. Just gave this old axe a vinegar bath that was rusted. Been in vinegar for 24 hours. That's what she looked like when I pulled her out of the vinegar just a few minutes ago. Just hit this side with a wire brush. It doesn't take much at all. And it's all the way down to the to the metal. As you can see there's the here's our heat treat. It's gonna look a little different than up here because this is treated with heat, harden, harden it up for the edge but I believe it's gonna turn out pretty good I've had this axe for a long time probably since I was I guess about eight or nine years old this is my first axe it's a man edge tool company and it's pretty old from what I've dug up on the internet definitely older than me and I've had it since the late 80s so we're going to put some water on here thought I'd let y'all check this out I may do the videos on the complete restoration of it I left the the handle on it so best to take the handle off to do this but I wrapped it with saran wrap and it still s sucked it up a little bit but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this handle yet I, I'd like to keep it but it's kind of dry so I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not but anyways we're gonna pour some water on here Let's see what our axe looks like All the way down to the metal. 24 hours in vinegar. And I had a couple little extra little ingredients I added to it, but this is mostly vinegar. No pressure at all, just knocking it off with the wire brush. Some people say to let it set for two days but as you can see this is 24 hours that's down to the bare metal very little pitting in this I figured it'd have more pitting in it than it does this corner wasn't covered up that much with the vinegar I just kind of splashed it up on it but as you can see it's still got a little rust on it right there I'll show you the bag that I had this is my this is the vinegar that I had it in. I had it sitting in this bag. That's what the vinegar looks like. Now we're going to do this side. As you can see, it's, I, this is just as I pulled it out of the bag. Hit it with a wire brush. got me this axe she died in 2008 of cancer there we go so this axe is priceless to me don't know that I'll do much to it I kind of want to polish it up but then again I don't As you can see our heat treat right here. There's the heat treat for the edge. I'm 
John, if you're watching this, as you can see, man, I'm working like a gentleman. Not even breaking a sweat. No telling how long. I mean, this thing was actually green at one time, as you can see, the, the green paint. This was actually green when I was using it as a kid. But I, th I think it's quite a bit older than that. Than from, I don't think it was new when I got it. Or when my aunt got it for me. Nothing like a boy and his axe. This is a, I should have told you at the beginning, this is a two and a quarter single bit boy's axe. Hang on just a second. Let me, let me get these dogs to be quiet. They want to be the guard dogs for today. Okay, we're back. The neighbors are putting a new roof on their house. If you you probably hear it. The dogs don't like it very much. Now what I'm gonna have to do when I get this, when I get to get done cleaning this up right here, I'm gonna have to put some baking soda, a little bit of baking soda and water on it, and that'll neutralize the rust and the, the vinegar reacting with the rust. Because when this dries, it will get flash rust on it. And it'll, it's just going to be flash rust, nothing major, as long as you get it off there with pretty soon. So, And then throw some oil on it. I'm going to ballast all her up. Good stuff. Soaks into the metal. So that's what she's going to get after I get through doing this. awkward doing this on camera but it's not taking much to get this off so still got a little bit on this side grease to get that off it's coming off though it turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I thought it would have a lot more pitting in it than it actually does there's the stamp on it thinking about doing a custom handle on it if I can find some vintage hickory something reclaimed doing it myself I don't know though. still kind of debating on that well I guess I'm gonna turn it in so Soak it down with some ballastol. And decide what I'm, if I'm going to do some polishing on it or do a little sanding and then polish. Anyways, I guess uh, stay tuned for part two. I have two more that I'm going to clean up, so... But this is my first priority right here, so stay tuned and 
We'll talk to you next time. Peace out.